my best fire agate carving today. Welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen. Today I want to work on this. This is not opal, this is a fire agate and I have still very little idea of what I'm doing here. I've actually heard that this stuff can just be cabbed so I might end up just cabbing this because I mean it's just an alien looking creature. I can see some color coming through here. It's This one's going to be one of those bronzy red ones. I personally like the purple and hopefully we can hit some in there somewhere but if I give you the profile shot here and put my finger behind it, you can see it's just got these, it's just lumpy. I, I don't really get it. It's just bubbles of rock that have nice little color play, kind of like opal. Actually, sometimes there's a little bit of common opal in here. That might actually be some on this stone. But have a look. What do you do with this? This is like some kind of weird abstract artwork. I have no idea about this stone. This looks like a coral reef. It's got these little legs. This one's actually growing legs. I don't get it. Actually, it looks like I could do a gorilla carving out of that. But anyway, it's it's just such a mind bender for me. But I'm going to try to tackle some anyway. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up having to give it away. Wow, can't believe I forgot to launch a video for the giveaway. So that's up now. If you're watching this sometime close to release, you'll be able to enter that by checking out the previous video just before this one and you can enter in the comments there but for this video we are grinding away I'm going straight to the 80 grits into diamond I would never choose another burr for this it blasts through that sandy stuff behind the fire agate material on top it gets through that super quick so I just took that off in massive chunks I basically used the burr to cut a line almost like you're slicing but I just wanted to put a big cut into both sides and then I managed to just snap the dirt off with my finger this top stuff though this is definitely much harder than opal it must sit somewhere around the 7 8 ish kind of mark because it does put up quite a fight and at first you can see me here working on the natural bubbles and the little grooves in the rock I decided the uh, colors a little bit deep so I just have to go across the entire face until I get close to it then I can go back to carving out the little bubbles so you can see here that 80 grit into diamond it takes no it takes no hostages it just grinds through and Eventually I came to a shape like this. Now I saw a koala or a wombat at this point in time and I like koalas more than wombats. I don't know why. I think everyone kind of does. But I decided to go with the koala method and we're just going to carve it up like that. Yes, I originally started the video thinking that I was going to cab this but there are a few problems with the rock including a few fractures that I didn't see back then. As soon as I started carving it, I kind of saw it. And by the time I carved through all the stuff that had no hints of color at all, it was pretty much getting to this kind of shape. So yeah, I did see it and I started manipulating the stone a little bit to get there, but we're there now and I'm committing to it. I don't understand fire get all that well, so I thought this is a great opportunity to just carve up a, carve up a little creature, a little critter. So just trimming the general shape down making sure his little head is the right shape and then giving him some fluffy ears and all that kind of stuff, trimming out the body. I do still try to maintain a little bit of the bubbly effect to maximize the color. And here you can see I'm using the 600 grits into diamond. I'm using the pointy one, but remember whenever you're using this kind of bird, you still need to be able to reach these gaps in the future stages. So the resin burrs have to be able to reach all of these spots. So be careful. You don't just want to drill tiny little, tiny little fine lines. You want to keep things pretty rounded and then you'll have no problem hitting at all with a polish. And not only that, I'm not just doing small little areas and trimming them up. I have to go over the entire stone and around the edge with this 600 because that's just going to set that baseline scratch to the 600 grit kind of scratch. We can't be polishing out 80 grit into diamond scratches they are huge so you can see me here just working on the body working on the edges getting the shape right and then going at it with the hard resin the hard resin works really well on this material and though the burrs are massive they're huge the points are still about the same as a nova and they get in there pretty well you just got to rotate the burr a lot and you've got to angle it the right way and you can see me cleaning up his little armpits and his knee pits getting in around his neck area and getting around the back there it's uh yeah it's it's a very good burr as long as you can get the point working for you this is why i never buy those barrel shaped burrs i always go with pointed burrs the bullets or whatever they're called points in general and then you can see here i use a pretty small felt burr and my aluminium oxide and went over the whole piece with that 
I chose aluminium oxide just because I thought there might be a little bit of non-silica based material on the on the areas that I was polishing. So just going across the whole thing with aluminium oxide, I know with aluminium oxide I'm not going to have any problem with this kind of material. It's just going to be a safe bet and I didn't want to go through with cerium oxide, waste all that time and then realise I should have gone with the aluminium oxide. So I've just gone alox. Well, would you look at him? What a little bundle of joy he is. So I gotta say, I had a lot more fun with this carving than I thought I would at the start. I thought we were gonna go and just try to cap it, but it's, I just wasn't finding the color that I was after. And I don't know anything about fire agate really, so I don't know about the grades and stuff, no idea what this is, but in the end, what I've done is carved together a really sick little koala bear. So I'll keep him just below the water so we can avoid all these reflections, and it tries to magnify the color, I've had to tweak my camera settings and increase a lot of light just to be able to get the color to shine through. It's not as vibrant as an opal, so it was a little tricky to get on camera. But you can see here, his little, his little bum has got some color, back legs, through the body, through the head. He's got this really, it doesn't come across well on camera, but over here he's got this really sick green little uh, puscules on his face. So that's not, that's not great. I think this koala's got a bit of an illness, but... You know what, it was a sick carving and I'm quite happy with it because I wasn't expecting much. And you know what, we did extract as much colour as humanly possible. I don't know when you go too far and get rid of it all and I don't want to risk that, so I've pulled it up here. It's taken a pretty good, pretty good shine, I went with the aluminium oxide. If I can get it dry it would actually be easier to show off that right there. There's a crack, there's a couple cracks actually. If I flip it over on the back, I'll probably press this up against a flat lap. You can see this entire segment here is a different color. That's because it is fractured. So that's a fracture running up and around. It's really hard to see because the stuff is so dark, but there is a little fracture that goes down here towards his little neck. Very unfortunate, but I tried my hardest to pick at it or twist the stone a little bit and see if I could get it to crack and it never cracked. So can't be too, can't be too unhappy with that. It's held together and survived and got a cool little koala, though it could also look a bit like many different breeds of dogs. But when I was carving it, I thought of the caramello koala because it is quite a caramel bronzy kind of color. And if I get it out of the water, again you can see from the light I've kept it very undulating so I haven't just done a round torso or anything like that I tried my absolute hardest to get as much of the color out as humanly possible because I know the fire I get forms in these little bubble formations and a lot of the time you can cab them but a lot of the time people are trying to grind into those little grooves and get those little color balls to pop and I've tried my best it's come out okay Maybe it's not the highest grade fire I get out there, but it has given me plenty of color, so I am super happy. My best fire I get carving today. I have a quick look at the back. There's a little bit of sand, but I think I can get rid of it. I'm just worried about that chip. If I thin it down on the flat lap, it'll probably probably fall apart. But you know what? I will. Ah, who knows? Maybe I'll just keep it keep it like this, chuck it in a container. Super cool, super weird material. I will say these hard resin burrs comboed with the aluminium oxide really got the finish on it much quicker than I have in the past with any kind of cerium oxide and Nova points. I think the hard resin burr is is just speedier on those harder materials. It's speedier on the softer materials too. And you can get away, even though this is such a massive burr, when you compare it to here's a fairly worn small Nova. It's a massive burr, but because everything goes to that point, you can get into all the little koala's armpits and neck folds and all of that kind of stuff. So you can get in some pretty narrow spaces and over time, you can just make sure that you grind away here and get a pointier point and you should be able to work on your really small carvings as well. Brand new out of the box, it will be a struggle though. Anyway, back to some opal. This little guy can have a rest. He's been on the surgery table for a long time and I'm a doctor of chemistry, not a vet. So he's had a hard, he's had a hard go of it. Catch you in the next video guys. It will most likely be an opal, but let me know if you want to see more fire I get. I have heaps more and I am more than happy to carve it up.